to my channel. It's been a long time since I've been here on YouTube and I want to share a little bit of a life update with you guys. For those of you that are only here for the lipstick swatches, I am going to leave a timestamp here. You can just skip ahead and start with the lipstick review and the lipstick swatches. But I do want to talk to you who are interested to know where I've been and why I've been gone for a few months. I just want to share all of that with you. The times that we are going through right now are absolutely crazy to say the least and I hope those of you that are watching and all of you are safe and healthy and as happy as you can be right now. These past three months have definitely not been the easiest. My Insta fam definitely knows a lot more because I was active on Instagram a lot more. There were so many things happening at the same time that it's a little difficult to wrap your head around all of what is going on. Climate crisis, health crisis, political crisis, it's all just really really just too much to handle and I was lacking the motivation, the get up and go that I usually have. I wake up with a purpose, I wake up thinking what do I want to film today and I'm excited about stuff. Honestly, I wasn't excited or motivated to do anything in the last three months. I was just like a potato on my couch watching television. I watched so many TV shows and I used to wake up with the thought thinking what, why, like what, what to do. <laughs> so I know a lot of you are feeling the same way and you have to get out of this funk. I used to think you know during March, April that it's probably gonna go away in like one or two months or something like that but this is, this is a long ordeal that we're gonna have to deal with and I just decided that I have to do something now. I have to get up and I have to start working and I have to start feeling like myself again and you know finding that passion in makeup. I haven't done a full face of glam in so long, in like two months. So it feels so incredibly amazing to have a full face of makeup on and a lot of things went a little wrong it was coincidental or whatnot my contact lenses expired and for the first month it was really difficult to get contact lenses and when I got them it wasn't like I was still motivated to do anything but you know there were lots of things happening at the same time the AC in my studio stopped working and it was just and I wasn't even motivated enough to fix all of these issues so in my mind they were just excuses so if you guys or any one of you is going through something like this, talk to someone, talk to your family, talk to your friends, don't go through this funk alone and realize that we are all in this together and it's just such a weird time you guys. My entire Kaibarya launch, you know my, my clothing brand, my entire launch was just ready to go before all of this happened. and. We just had to put everything on hold and as a small business owner this has been a huge hit on finances because we were supposed to launch three months ago and that didn't happen and I am so excited to launch my brand very soon like I can't wait any longer and for those of you that follow me on Instagram you have seen little sneak peeks and so many of you are asking me when my collection is launching, what is going on so it is gonna launch soon I want to get back to work and I want to start feeling like myself again. In fact, the top that I'm wearing right now is from my brand Karvarya. This is in our new launch and this is gonna launch super, super, super soon. Okay, so that's about how I was feeling about Karvarya and now let's talk about this hair. <laughs> so I have been on a little bit of a curly girl journey and in the past three months, I've just not done anything to my hair. I've straightened my hair like once. In three months and that's huge because I used to straighten my hair every single time I washed it so for me to not straighten my hair and just rock my natural hair this is like very very new territory for me because I have straightened my hair since I was like 16 years old I've just had permanently straight hair and this is my natural hair and you guys it's taken me a while to get my natural curls back. It's definitely taken me a while and a lot of care to get my natural like magic back in my hair. And I'm so happy that I'm finally embracing what I was born with. <laughs> this is how my hair naturally air dries. I just put a little bit of curl cream in it and scrunch it. And 
this is just how it is. So I am on a curly girl journey and I'm going to try not to straighten my hair, not to do anything that is bad for my hair and I'm going to see how it goes because I want them to grow longer and I feel like they're going to look really really nice once they're longer because they are a little bit short now. They're not as short as you would think because they're like really really curly so if I pull them down or if I straighten them they do like come up to my waist but because they're super curly I feel like they look fun and they're fine. This is my natural hair and I am going to rock it and yeah that's about it. That's about me. <laughs> Let me know what you guys have been doing in lockdown. How has your quarantine been going on? What do you do to pass your time? How have you kept yourself motivated and positive throughout this. I know a lot of content creators have done so well producing so much amazing content that we've all consumed and that has gotten us through quarantine and I'm so sorry that I couldn't be that for you guys but I just needed to take this break and find myself again and I just needed to be motivated again and now I am and I'm so happy to be back. It feels so strange to be filming in front of all of these lights after so long but this is this is home honestly it feels strange but it feels like home because YouTube is YouTube is my world you guys I I love YouTube and I never want to give this up but these few breaks in the middle just they just make me you know realize a few things and I hope you can stick by and this rant has been going on for a long time so let's just go ahead and into the video <laughs> So we're going to be talking about the new Nykaa Matte Luxe Lipsticks. They launched during quarantine and I was super super excited when I saw them on the Nykaa Beauty Instagram. I was like wow these look amazing. The Nykaa team is so awesome. They are the friendliest, amazing people that I've ever worked with. Honestly the Nykaa team is one of the best people that I've ever worked with and they just asked me whether I wanted to try this collection or not without you know having to post anything about it and I said yeah I would love to try it so they sent the entire collection over to me this video is not sponsored by Nykaa at all they were just very kind to send all of these lipsticks to me to try them out and I decided to just post a video on YouTube and review them and swatch them because I know you guys are interested and I like to swatch lipsticks you know it's it's my thing <laughs> and especially matte lipsticks and and you guys know my love for bullet lipsticks. If a brand launches bullet lipsticks in India, I just want to review everything, every shade. Because <laughs> bullet lipsticks are my jam. So we have to talk about them. All of these lipsticks are color coordinated. So if you have a lot of these in your collection, it's going to be really easy to store them. Because you can see all of the colors right on the packaging. They have like a weight to them, a good amount of weight to them. It feels very luxurious and there's this little golden thing that you see with the shade name on the bottom and the lid is a magnet so that's about the packaging I actually really like that it's color coordinated because I don't like it when lipsticks are not color coordinated because if they're all black then I just have to color them on paper and stick the paper on the lipstick so I can spot them in my drawer my insta fam knows <laughs> they do have like a matte matte formula as you can see on my lips but it's not an uncomfortable matte I do want to add however that these lipsticks are super super pigmented they are very pigmented so if you just swipe them like once on your hand you can see it's a bolt of pigment they are very pigmented and because of that you may end up with a little bit of a butthole lip situation so they don't like they will fade from the outside and they will leave a little bit of residue in the inner lining of the lips I'm just being honest here so that's how it is but I personally don't mind it because I reapply my lipstick throughout the day a lot of times anyway even if it's a lipstick then I don't have to reapply I'm just that person that wants to keep my makeup looking fresh and flawless for as long as possible so I will keep applying lip balm on my lips and then I'll apply lipstick and then after one or two hours I'll apply lip balm again and then I'll apply lipstick so that kind of doesn't happen to me and that fact doesn't bother me but if you are the kind of person that wants to wear your lipstick for five or six hours straight you're probably gonna have an inner lining of color I do really appreciate that there are so many different nudes in this collection. There's a nude for every skin tone. If you're fair skinned, medium skinned, dark skinned, there's definitely a nude that you are going to love and it's going to suit you. I wanted to do like a neutral glam today so I did a matte brown smoky eye. 
and when I was deciding what lipstick to wear, I wanted it to go like really well with my look and I love how this looks with my look right now because it's so monochromatic, it's very brown toned, it's very earthy I really really like it, of course with such an eye you can wear any sort of lipstick and it's gonna look nice because it's a very neutral brown smoky eye but I feel like it looks really nice the shade that I'm wearing is called avocado toast <laughs> and this is what it looks like so I'm just gonna go ahead with the swatches now I guess yeah that is the lipstick it's actually very matte on application you guys I mostly have a lot of lip balm on my lips all the time that's why my lipsticks end up looking a little bit shiny maybe but yeah on application you can see that is super matte and that is so beautiful I think we're gonna start with the swatches now why not so I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer okay so as I said this is the shade avocado toast I actually really really like it so this is how the color looks on me it's a very brown kind of tone I think this would be a great nude like a nudie nude for dark skin tones as well and if you're fair if you're fairer than I am this is gonna look like a very browny kind of nude on you and if you're medium skin toned like I am this is how it's gonna look it still looks like a brown nude but it's not a very dark brown you know what I mean that is how it looks I actually really like the formula on these they're very comfortable very matte and they last a long time so that is how it looks I just love how pigmented these are honestly <laughs> so that is the shade avocado toast so this is the shade truffle and that is what it looks like this has a little bit more color I would say this has a little bit more orange than the previous one the previous one was definitely a light brown tone this however has just a little bit more of a rich chocolatey like an orangey terracotta -y tone I hope that is making sense this is gonna be great for those of you that have a dark skin tone if you're fair this is gonna look like a beautiful terracotta brown kind of shade and this is how it looks on me <laughs> I actually really like this shade this is a very neutral basic everyday shade that is gonna suit almost everyone and it's a great everyday wear shade beautiful nude you guys know I love nude lipsticks <laughs> so that is the shade truffle now I have the shade called vintage and this as you can see has a pinky undertone a lot of you are asking me about pinky brown lipsticks this is definitely like a very beautiful pinky brown nude I think this is a great nude for fair to medium skin tones I think I loved the first lipstick which one was that? avocado toast the one I was wearing at the start of this video because it just matched so well with my makeup look but I actually really like this one as well this is vintage and that is what it looks like so now we have the shade artisanal coffee and as you can see it's like a mauve coffee inspired shade it's so beautiful this is gonna be an awesome mauve pinky nude for deep skin tones and if you are fairer than I am this is gonna be like a brownie mauve deep kind of shade it's such a universal shade it's gonna look good on everybody if this is the kind of tone you like but on deeper skin tones this is gonna be awesome and I actually really like how it looks with my makeup right now <laughs> So that is the shade Artisanal Coffee. Okay, now we are going on to color a little bit. This is definitely not a nude, but it's so pretty. I think this is one of my favorite shades in this collection. This is called Jaeger Bomb and it's like this orangey but still wearable, nudie, but still has a little bit of a red undertone, you know what I mean? I think it looks so beautiful this is a very universal shade it's gonna look good on all skin tones this is also an amazing everyday shade if you're someone who just likes a little bit of color in your nudes you don't like a nude nude but you just want your nude to have a little bit of life in it this is so so pretty it's definitely going right in my new lipstick drawer <laughs> so that is the shade Jaeger Bomb 
This shade is called Athleisure and this is like a pinkier version of Jägerbomb. Jägerbomb was more orangey but this is along the same lines of that shade, the same tone. This is also a great everyday wear shade for all skin tones. It's gonna look good on all skin tones and it's just a little bit more pinkier than Jägerbomb. I think Jägerbomb... Wow, can't speak. <laughs> I think Jägerbomb was more orange and this one is just pinkier. So again, that is the shade at leisure. Oh my god, this is like a Barbie, pinky, very stunning shade. It's not neon, but it's not a hot, hot pink. You know what I mean? It's like this toned down version of pink that is still a bright, bright lipstick. But it's so wearable, so pretty. This is gonna look good on all skin tones. It's such a beautiful lipstick. This is in the shade Coachella, and I think this is gonna be like one of my favorite lipsticks from this collection. It's definitely heading straight to my pink lipstick drawer. You guys know that I've been decluttering my lipsticks. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm slowly decluttering my makeup collection and I'm filming the entire process on my Instagram stories. So if you're not following me there already, you're missing out. If you want to see all the lipsticks that I decluttered, because I'm starting with lipsticks and I have decluttered like three drawers at this point. So if you want to see the process, you can go on to my Instagram. I have saved the makeup declutter in my highlights. So definitely go and check that out. I zoomed you guys in a little bit more, but yeah, that is what the shade Coachella looks like. This is going in my pink lipstick drawer, as I said. This is not gonna go anywhere. I absolutely love this shade. It's so unique because it's not neon, but it's still bright, but it's still hot pink, but it's still a Barbie pink. You know what I mean? It's so pretty. I feel like this is a very beautiful shade in this collection, one of the most unique shades, and this is called Coachella which was cancelled this year. <laughs> this is the shade Staycation, also really, really beautiful. It's like a pinky coral. It's not a true pink, but it's also not orangey. It's such a beautiful, deep coral shade. It's gonna look beautiful on every different skin tone. Also a great everyday wear shade. I would personally wear a shade like this on an everyday basis. I love colors that bring youth and life to the face, and this is definitely one of them. It's so pretty you guys. This is the shade Staycation. Now we have Kale Smoothie and this is what it looks like. It's a mixture between burgundy and orange and red because there is a lot of orange in here and it's a very warm toned deep red. It's gonna look great on every skin tone. Such colors just look nice on all skin tones and it's a statement. That is what it looks like. So this shade is again called Kale Smoothie. Next up we have a red. Every lipstick collection needs to have a beautiful gorgeous neutral red that looks good on everybody and this is just that. It's so stunning. It's very comfortable and that is what it looks like. If you want it to be even more matte than what you can see right now, you can definitely take a tissue and just pat it down and it's gonna make the lipstick look super super matte and also last even longer and yeah I really like this shade of course it's a beautiful red and this is called bachelorette okay this shade is called Pilates now I am not such adventurous when it comes to lipsticks. I personally don't wear shades like this. I gravitate towards nudes and peachy nudes and pinky nudes, maybe pinks if I'm feeling adventurous. But yeah, it's a very, very bold shade. It's a very pinky, purpley, but still kind of dark shade. You can see what I mean. <laughs> and it's gonna look nice on everybody. Every skin tone can wear a shade like this because it's so unique and so bold. So yeah, that is the shade Pilates. This is the last shade in the collection called Retail Therapy and this is also like a purpley, I think this is a dark mauve purpley shade. Yeah, that's it. It's a dark mauve. <laughs> and this particular shade has little specks of glitter in it and I only noticed it in this shade and not any of the other ones. But yeah, that is what it looks like. I think this is fun. It's kind of pretty, right? Dark mauve. 
that is the shade Retail Therapy. Okay, so I just decided to wear one of my favorite shades in this collection for the outro. This is the shade Coachella. <laughs> and I actually really, really like this shade. I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. So this is what I'm going to wear now. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and you had a lot of fun. If you're not following me on Instagram already, I swear you're missing out on a lot because I do a lot of stories. And right now, they're super interesting because I'm decluttering everything. And if you want to see my makeup declutter, head on over to my Instagram right now. I hope you're subscribed to my channel. If not, please take a moment to hit the little red subscribe button down there. You can also click the bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. And I really hope you guys are staying safe. You guys are staying inside as much as you can. Right now is not the time to be out. So if you can stay inside, please do only step out for absolute essentials. And if you really, really have to, if you can stay inside, please do, please be responsible, please take care of yourselves and your families and yeah, if you're not feeling that great, if you're feeling a little sad or unmotivated, talk to someone and just get your heart out and it will feel a lot freeing to talk to someone and yeah, just know that this will be over soon. I hope the pandemic gets over soon and all of us can resume with our normal lives although normal has a new definition now but we all have to embrace it it's not like we have any other options so let's just you know learn to accept that this is the reality right now and take steps towards making sure that our health is the best it can be and i wish the best for you and your families and i hope you are happy and i'm gonna see you super soon in my next one and i am gonna see you super soon in my next one okay i'm really gonna make another youtube video super super soon and yeah no more month long breaks <laughs> thank you for watching you guys i love you so much and i'm gonna see you super soon in my next one bye bye